Our topic today is hacking the visibility of the cloud. What are the barriers to cloud visibility? When I talk with customers and hear about their problems with cloud visibility, is about the more deep, the depth of that. What's inside? The first vehicle that I ever drove was an ox cart. The latest car that I drive, it drives by itself. And it is built by so many people. There's software, there's hardware. So, you know, I look at cloud in sort of similar way. Right now, most people who drive an automated car, they put an enormous amount of trust in that car, literally their life in that car. So I envisioned when, before you had visibility in the cloud, we are putting a lot of trust in the cloud provider. You know, I look at trust as an evolving factor. You know, consistency over time equals trust, right? So if you have an organization or a product or a solution that provides you consistent output every single time, mm -hmm. then, you, then you build the trust up. So I think that the best thing that a security person can uh, can uh, do with relation to DevOps is to be able to do his job without interfering the DevOps uh, at the basis of this. Naturally, sometimes you do. It is almost impossible to find an organization with only one set of cloud presence. You know, you'll have one department using, you know, one sort of cloud uh, environment. And then after, you know, sometime you discover other department looking at some something else. It's like a developer make a mistake, import a wrong list, and oops, my internal network is accessible to everyone in the internet without me even understanding. Let's get our definition right. Like, what are we expecting out of visibility? From a prem standpoint, it's it's inaccurate to say you had 100% visibility on prem. You didn't because as soon as we all had smartphones, you lost that, right? This the reason I think people are worried about the visibility in the cloud is not the technology of the cloud, it's the culture of the cloud. I think what security professionals need is understanding of what is happening in the environment. And because, you know, the visibility is, is such a, you know, such an easy word to go after. And you can quant you can say, I want 100% visibility. I, I just question the word itself uh, in, the, in the cyber realm. We are going to the bad ideas. And I am starting with the ones that are voted up the most just create policies on how to secure cloud applications, but let each business line purchase and manage their cloud app services. Why would that be a good idea? Agility. You know, at the end of the day, people need to move fast. We have to hope for, that every organization is working for the best results for the company. If you hand more control over to individual business unit, they may be able to come up with the better, faster, cheaper, uh, more secure alternative. Trust your engineers will follow procedures to install security agents properly on each workload. Now, if they're building something, you know, they're building something good. So, you know, trust them. Security teams not being invited as a partner in migration to cloud discussions at the executive level due to concern about being told no or that security will slow things down. If you don't involve the security team and involve only the dev, or the DevOps and the cloud migration people, you'll have the services in the cloud much faster. I'll just argue for it as as you said. Uh, sure, it's it's a it's a good thing to do. You know, they'll they'll loop us in when they feel necessary. You are much more likely to be breached because of you know a service that someone started and haven't really maintained, haven't really viewed security. There is no security tool installed on it. Nobody is managing it. It's just another one of these services that you don't really know. And this is the key. You know, there's always that push and pull between the organizations. And especially if you're working for, for a private organization, you know, you don't have OCC or other regulators who sort of, you know, empower you in terms of, you know, getting stuff done. Blindly trust the cloud provider that they can do everything because that's what their sales team says anyways. You cannot fight efficiency and markets, um, you know, cloud is here and is here to stay. You have to look at security holistically, even in the cloud. And if you just go back to all the things that you used to do on for on-prem security and try to cloudify it, and then, you know, figure out the correct tooling and people around it, you'd be in much better shape. We're going to finish the deployment in five minutes. Let's eat pizza. 
in the rest of the hour. There is no reason not to do it. So it's easy to give it a try to see whether you have covered, maybe you have some black holes or areas that you didn't know of and you need to handle. And even if you don't add a bank that you get a free checkup of what's going on inside, which is valuable by itself.